If you are living in Japan long term as a foreigner, it can begin to feel like Groundhog Day. Sometimes I feel like I'm having the same conversation over and over again. Hello everyone. Welcome back to On The World Stage. If you're new here, my name is Marielle and I live in Japan. So to anyone watching who also follows me on Instagram, thank you so much for helping me select this video topic. I put a poll on my Instagram. So if you want to be part of this channel community and help me to select the content that I will make, then uh, please follow me on Instagram and respond to my polls and my questions there. Wait, I'm eating this water bee mochi my friend gave me. Mm. Wait, I dropped it all over myself. So the video topic that most of you voted for on my poll was the question that I don't like to be asked in Japan. Thank you for being so curious about what I don't like. Usually I'm quite positive, but I guess today is gonna be, I don't say it's a negative video, but I mean, I am complaining a bit about this question. I don't want you to view it as me like criticizing anyone that has asked me this, especially if you're watching and you have asked me this question, I don't mind that you asked me. But I want to start a bigger conversation about why I think this question should not be asked <laughs> or why I think there are better questions you can ask. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense by the end of this video. So if you have ever lived in Japan, you probably know that there are a lot of questions that foreigners are asked by Japanese people. If you are living in Japan long term as a foreigner, it can begin to feel like Groundhog Day. Sometimes I feel like I'm having the same conversation over and over again. It's no one's fault, but yeah, just imagine if everyone's asking you the same question day in, day out, it, it starts to get quite old. So on my Instagram, some of my followers guessed what question is my most despised question in Japan. I got a lot of great guesses for which question I don't like, including do you speak Japanese? When are you going to leave Japan? Do you like anime? Are you married? Do you have a boyfriend? So these are all amazing guesses and most of these questions I am asked on a daily basis. <laughs> Surprisingly, nobody guessed my question. The number one question I don't like to be asked in Japan. Are you ready? Well, first I'm going to eat this wadabi mochi. So, the number one question that I don't like to be asked in Japan is... Do you want to date Japanese guys? If I had a hundred yen for every time someone messaged me this or asked me this to my face, I could be off like traveling the world freely right now. I would be a free woman. So you might be watching this thinking like, why does she hate this question so much? It's harmless, just like someone asking your type. It seems like a harmless question, right? It seems like not a big deal. Well, I am making an entire video about this topic for a reason, so let's get into it. First of all, this question is incredibly awkward to answer because it's a yes or no question. Do you want to date? Yes or no? Do you want to date Japanese guys? So this puts the person being questioned into quite an uncomfortable situation because if we say no, first of all, that's rude because usually the person asking is Japanese. So it's rude and it's borderline prejudice. You have to say yes, but yes isn't completely true because who are these Japanese guys? Who are they? Who? What, what are their interests? What do they like? Do they speak English? Are they open to having international marriage? Like there are many complex questions we have to ask. So in order to better understand this question and, and these Japanese guys, I then ask myself, okay, what would it feel like if I went up to people and I asked, Do you want to date American girls? It makes no sense. So personally, I would never ask someone if they want to date American girls because I don't think it makes any sense. And because I'm from America and I know many American girls, I simply can't put us all into one box. 
We're all very different. Even the girls that I grew up with in America as my best friends are completely different people for me. They're completely unique individuals with their own talents and interests. And we all went to school for different things. We all graduated with different degrees. We're all doing different jobs. We're all living in different places and different situations. So I could never ask someone, do you want to date American girls? We are not all the same. So since moving to Japan three and a half years ago, many people have said to me that they didn't expect that I was American. They would have guessed I was from Europe or from Russia. I had many people say to me, both other foreigners and Japanese people, that I broke the stereotype of what they viewed as an American. So at my first job in Japan, which was being an Eikaiwa teacher, I had a coworker who taught a junior high school class before me. So him and I were both teaching the same group of junior high school students. One day, this coworker approached me in the break room and uh, he said, Mario, I asked the students what they think of you. Well, what did they say? To be honest, they seemed a little disappointed. The reason being that, you know, they just expected you to be more American. More American. More American. That was the first time in my life that I ever questioned what it meant for me to be an American. Do I need to prove that I'm an American somehow in my personality? What does it even mean to be an American? It's not our fault that we are fed stereotypes about other nationalities from the media or from society and the people around us. But if you are someone who wants to live a life where you interact with people from other countries, where you are friends with people from other countries and you even date people from other countries, then you have to accept and you have to learn that nobody fits into a cookie cutter preset of their nationality. So why did I sit down and prepare and film and edit and upload this video? The answer is quite simple. I hate generalizations. I have been generalized. I'm sure that I've generalized other people without knowing it. And frankly, I think generalizations about people are boring. The topic of love, relationships, marriage, types is extremely fascinating. I love to talk about love. I talk about love all the time. I've talked about love on this channel a lot. So if we're going to talk about love, if we're going to talk about dating, then let's choose better questions, please. So if you're someone who's ever asked me this question and I gave you a yes or no response, let me give you the opportunity to ask me a better question. For example, you can ask me, Marielle, what kind of guy are you looking for? I'm looking for someone intelligent, open-minded, ambitious, motivated, someone empathetic, someone who can understand all of my crazy ideas and all of my creative passions, someone who can appreciate my art, who can appreciate my writing, who can appreciate my singing, my modeling, everything that I do, and can talk to me for hours. I want someone who can speak English. I want someone who can get along with my family. I want someone who can travel with me. I want to be able to discuss difficult topics. I want to be able to plan for difficult times. Someone who's complex. Someone who views me not just for what I look like. If I would be satisfied with just choosing someone to date based off of their nationality, I probably could have many choices, but I think the beautiful thing about what I want is that I want something very deep 
and uh, very connected in love. I don't see the point in just dating someone just for fun. So until that person comes along who actually matches what I want in a guy, I'm going to remain single. Ah, and you may be wondering right now, after everything I've said, is this person going to be Japanese? Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I don't know. But hey, if you're still watching and you're going to take anything away from this video, take this. Let's stop generalizing and let's have better conversations in the future. I hope that you enjoyed and as usual, please comment below with your thoughts, feelings, questions. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Arigatou gozaimashita. Mata ne. You're still my They skip the small talk cuz you know me better than I know myself for my spirit a while now since I saw you. But it feels like yesterday